Hello, in this video, we're going to do a problem involving arithmetic sequences. Question says, find the general term of the arithmetic sequence. And the sequence terms are five over seven, three over 14, negative two over seven, negative 11 over 14. And the three dots indicate that it goes on forever. Let's go ahead and carefully work through this solution. Let's start by writing the sequence with a common denominator. So it looks like 14 is a good choice. We can take five over seven and multiply it by two over two. The first term is really 10 over 14. The second term is three over 14. The third term, we can again multiply it by two over two. So it would be negative four over 14. The next one would be negative 11 over 14. And then the three dots indicate that it goes on forever. So to find the general term, we need a few things. We need the first term and we need the common difference. So a sub one is the first term. So in this case, it's 10 over 14. And the common difference is D. This is the number you add to get from one term to the next. We can see here right away that to get from 10 over 14 to three over 14, we're adding negative seven over 14. Likewise, to get from three over 14 to negative four over 14, we're adding negative seven over 14. Same thing here, negative four over 14 to negative 11 over 14, we're adding negative seven over 14. The little d is going to be negative seven over 14. So once you find your first term, and your common difference, which is the number you add to get from one term to the next, you can use your formula. So the formula for the general term of an arithmetic sequence, which is also called the nth term of the arithmetic sequence, is a sub n, and it's equal to the first term, which is a sub one, plus n minus one times d. So n minus one times d. Or said another way, it's the first term plus n minus one common differences. D is called the common difference. So we have a sub n is equal to, so a sub one we said was 10 over 14. We replace a sub one with 10 over 14. And plus, and we have n minus one. And D is negative seven over 14. So let's go ahead and replace that, so negative seven over 14. So a sub n is equal to, let's clean this up, this is 10 over 14. Negative seven over 14 times n is negative seven over 14 times n. And negative seven over 14 times negative one is positive seven over 14. So finally we have a sub n is equal to 10 over 14 plus seven over 14 is 17 over 14 minus, and then we have seven over 14 times n. So the general term or the nth term of this arithmetic sequence would be a sub n, which is equal to 17 over 14 minus seven over 14 times n. So uh, a bit messier than um, a lot of other problems, but hopefully uh, it's been helpful well, next time, oh, I just realized something. Before we finish, we can do some simplification here. So seven over 14 is really one half, so we can write it like that. So, yep, so a lot of times you'll wanna simplify your answers almost messed up there. So you can write seven over 14 as one over two to clean it up. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.